to the table. This is Amy with Notes from Past Amy here to unbox the Atlas Stationers Hollywood subscription box. It does have the sticker on the side, but that show my address. So I've cut the tape. Here we go. The current card. I accidentally picked that up with the order form. Very pretty. K. Rathburn, it looks like, is the name on this. Watercolor Unlimited on Instagram. That's really cool. I love those. It's Colorverse, Dye Mine, Ink Vent, ink vent Paper Castell. Hmm. Maybe like Kobe? I'm not exactly sure of that one. And I think this one's Visconti. Very, very cute. I don't know what all the flowers are. So maybe Daisy, either Jack in the Box or Pansy. I think the size depends on that one. Let's call those marigold or dandelions. I have no idea. <laughs> those are just two yellow flowers. I know those look like lily of the valley and maybe geranium. I had red geranium last year and they looked a lot like that. And then of course a fountain pen at the bottom. That is really, really cool. Hollywood's garden of inks. Enjoy a bottle on, I think that's the, even though the H is crossed house, your number one Therese, which I think is his mom. Very cool. The sticker. I heard that they were going to have a sticker in. Brendan was saving them from a show enough to put in the subscription boxes. So I'm so excited to have a sticker. This must be the extra. And then we've got the three. I don't know. But since this one's separate, we'll pull it out first. It said a garden, so I was expecting a green. I wasn't until that point. What was I expecting? I had heard on one of the live shows, I think I've caught them all, that there would be a purple ink and there would be a shimmer ink. But when this said garden, I thought green. And sure enough, we've got ebony green from Private Reserve here. 60 mil. It's a short, chubby thing. Basically fills this, if it's anything like my black cherry. Yep. Chubby little guy. Oh, look at that seal. It's been too long since I got my black cherry. I didn't remember it had that on there. Very, very easy bottle to fill from. Okay, and then we've got this three pack. That's probably all that's in there. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> so Private Reserve is a brand I already have, but just the Black Cherry. And I don't have a lot of green inks. My green inks right now are Diamine Meadow and Diamine Holly. And that's it. Monteverde. Zebra, oh, cute. From the line of forest animals, maybe? I have no idea. I'm just making this up. Jungle ink collection. Zebra, which is blue. I'm not really a blue person. I hope this is a really cute blue. Tells us nothing about it. I know what the bottle looks like because I was able to get one of these empty, and it was the crocodile one. Really nice green from... Who did I get that from? Got that from, I should know, they're moving, they're having a pen part. Anderson Pens. Yes, so I expected this bottle right here. This is the same one as the Crocodile. He's on the other side. There's a whole bunch of them. Crocodile. I really love giraffes and turtles. Turtle is aqua and giraffe seems to be a bright orange. So probably not colors I will pursue, but in case you wanted to know, those are two of my favorite animals. The zebra. Okay, cool. Leave that one open. I should have left this one open as well. I just, I didn't. Ooh, violet imperial. This is purple and shimmer. This is just purple. Ooh, and April showers. I have a little bottle of this. It's like a, a charger or is it a sample? It's no more than five mils. Somewhere between one and five. Very nice. Fall in love with writing again. April showers. I have swatched this before in Violet Imperial. I guess I have to break all of this plastic. I love purples. I do. This is not... It is a 1670. Hmm. I'm just wondering if this is one that I got as an empty bottle from Anderson. It's got a beautiful wax covered lid and a seal. On the front, I think it was a 1670, but I don't remember what the color was. This is the bottle, of course, I took off all of the labels and cleaned it and 
got a drop of something there. Oh, it came right off. See? Jacobin Paris. 1670. Look at that. Isn't that cool? But I forget what color was in here. Let's look it up. Turn back a couple of pages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Violet Imperial. Yep, that's it. And it is a shimmer. So the purple and shimmer hints were actually for the same ink. Oh, it's so pretty. That means I should have matching bottles. Because that little bit is what was in here. And while we're here, here's the crocodile. Isn't that a nice green? I like that green a whole lot. I forgot I do things angled. And some people probably don't like that. What is wrong with her? I don't know. Um, there's the crocodile. Really nice green. And then here's the Jacques Lebon, Violet Imperial. 1670. A very nice, cool purple. It reminds me of Lilac Satin, actually, from Diamine. And then let's look at April Showers right here. It's a gray. Oh, that explains the box. The color must match the box. That would make sense, right? Okay. It really matches. So, very cool. I forgot to do a swatch from my ink swap. So I'm skipping a page for that. Oh, I'm so excited. Lovely inks. I really hope I like Zebra and Ebony Green. Although, was this a shimmer? Maybe the hint for shimmer was this one. I really hope people who got this box like shimmer ink if there's two of them. Hold on. I think this page of Ferris Will Press had all shimmers except for this bottom one. Let me see. Well, if it had shimmer, it has come off because I don't see shimmer in April showers. Blushing Mushroom, yes. Lapis Lullabies, yes. Land of Shangri-La, Queen and Castle, yes, yes, yes. I spelled Madame Mulberry wrong. I figured that out like a week after I did this. So, I already kind of know what some of these are going to look like. Kind of as in half of them. But let's go ahead and put all of them on this page because this is my first subscription box of any kind for inks. I don't know how long I'll stay in it. My birthday is the end of the month, so I thought this would be a very nice birthday gift to me, especially with the Memorial Day code. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, so I follow lots of lovely people who have uh, discount codes for Atlas, and I used one of those. Got the box for the 45 price, including shipping. So that's always nice. These little animal stickers are so cute. Please be a beautiful blue. Ooh, that's nice. I'm not huge on blue inks. So let's hope it's a good one. Ah, it looks like blue. Hmm. Those are really bad circles. There we go. It looks like blue. Let's write it down. I am getting into Monteverde inks, I guess. This is my third Monteverde ink this month. Monte de day USA. I think I just wrote Monteverde for my other ones. Oh, USA. That's like a specific line. I don't know. Monteverdepens.com Jungle Ink Collection. Jungle Ink Collection. I have not seen these ones in bigger bottles. Same with things like Kindness. I know that was in a couple of ink rainbows. Maybe they are, I just don't know where to find them. But from what I've seen, some of them are only available in the 30 mils. And this is Zebra. And it is blue. Like a nice 
not as dark as I thought it might be. It's actually a nice, just blue. Let's hold that up. Keep it straight, keep it straight. Blue. It's almost teal. It's got a little bit of green in it. Very nice, at least on this paper. These are going to be featured in 30 inks, 30 days. I'll do this one first. I'm just going to do the order I use right here. So green will be next. They will be for this week. Again, I've got to break a seal. Ebony green. That sounds like black. Right? Black into green. It's a very dark color. Ivory and ebony. That's black and white, right? There we go. I use kid scissors for practically everything around the house have for a long time okay there we go private reserve okay got it Ooh! wow how nice it's going everywhere hold on it's a very nice green though look at that i'm not sure what to do when it makes a big mess um just go with it right it was quite full All right, we got like a Karina thing going on here. <laughs> oh, making memories. Okay, I need to wipe off that jar. It's a lovely color though. Look at that. Very nice. Let's see what it looks like the way I did the other one. Oh my, what a mess. What a mess. Um, let's just put it in here. Ooh, I like that. That's really nice. Really nice. Mm hmm I like it. It's going to make this up. I don't know what to do now. It totally, totally messed up what I was doing. That's okay. Did I really know what I was doing anyway? I'm flexible. It's fine. It's fine. So a beautiful green. It's really nice. I wouldn't have purchased this based on the name, but what a great color. How does it look in writing? It's a great question. Let's put it right down here. Private. Reserve. I might be really glad the back of this is just blank. Yeah, look at that. I don't usually pour my ink on. <laughs> okay, well. Glad that happened to be blank. Ebony green. Hmm, that has made quite a splash. Really nice color. And I need to clean that off. So we're just gonna press that to the side. See that big splash of green? Yep. A year ago, this board looked so much pinker and a lot less spotty. All right, that's good enough for now. What a mess. We'll put that pretty bottle there. Oh, I don't want to open it. Actually, I think the one from Anderson was opened on the bottom. And you don't have to break that seal. At least one of them was. I've got a couple bottles like this. Actually, three, but the other two are holding plant starts, so. Oh, did you see that shimmer? I know I opened that wrong. It's okay. We'll get over it. Look how beautiful. I have twins. Oh, they're so cute. I love this color. I really did enjoy it. There wasn't enough to put in a pen or anything when I got the empty bottle, but... Ah, oh, it's so, so pretty. I didn't want to pay for it, though. These aren't exactly my budget inks. So beautiful. Of all bottles to have a double of, this is one I'm very happy to have a double of. Okay, so I've technically done this color before, but that's okay. You probably didn't see it. There we go. 
so beautiful. See the shimmer? So nice. Oh, my Christmas pen's gonna need some ink soon. I might put it in there. Use different inks every time. Let's see, did we get some shimmer? As it dries, I think it'll become more obvious. It's very, very fine, and I do see it, but I don't know if it's coming across on camera. Very lovely. I like it a lot. Although I don't know if I've ever met a purple that I didn't like. I'm quite fond of purple. That green. Oh, that green. There we go. What was this called? Okay. Beautiful. It looks a little more red in the writing. I don't know if that will kind of fade and it will become more blue as it dries. Golden Sheen Enhanced Ink. Okay. So let's see here. We've got... I forgot to do caps. Violet. Oh well. Got a little baby eye in there. This is a mess. But what pretty inks. I would never have picked this, but that is actually a really nice blue. Same with this green. And... I have no idea what that means. If my brother were still I would ask him. He was quite good at French. All right, and this is Violet Imperial. Got that. Okay. I think that's the correct information for that one. Let's put its beautiful little lid back on. Twins. Those look cute there. Then... A Ferris wheel press. I feel a little bad because somebody asked me the ink swap I did. They asked for April showers. I was like, I don't have five mils. They wanted to do a five mil sample trade. So if I don't have five mils. I'm sorry. I don't have very much of that one at all. I think it's a two mil that I have. I'm like, it's okay. No big deal. But now I have tons. I could very well have sent them my two mils. It does have shimmer. What? My sample doesn't have shimmer. I wonder if I didn't shake it. Oops. Newbie problems. What a pretty box. The umbrellas and the flowers. Not that it's raining flowers. Oh, I love the little hot air balloons. No wonder people keep these boxes. They are really, really pretty. Like how green my fingers are. Look at that nail color. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Here we go. Shake that in. Are all the fronts the same? I need to check my Shangri-La bottle. Whoops, wrong side. Yes, they are the same. Okay. Part of my angled viewing things is because I'm angled at the table. Just how it has to be if we want halfway decent lighting. Here's the rubber thing. That has not come off my land of Shangri-La. It just stayed in the top. So. I don't know why you needed to know that. But. Now you know. Okay, let's see if we can get some shimmer on this one. Oh, and I f forgot to do the dots. Oh, well. After the green decided to go all over the place. Dots. It made quite a mess, didn't it? Really did. Oh, well, hold on. Almost forgot to write. Clean my little pen over here. Empty ink bottles are so useful. It's going to be a while before these ones are empty ink bottles, but I really like having ink, empty ink bottles, even though I've only been collecting inks for a few months because they 
are so useful. We use them for all sorts of things. And this is a ferrous wheel press. How do you do your ease? Do you go from the bottom up like I do? I just realized I do that a few days ago. Yeah. I don't know why it matters. I just thought it was interesting. I think my son does it a different way. Maybe a more correct way. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Do I need any more information? Like what line this is from? Ontario, Canada. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I guess that's it. Cool. Down here, I should write something about this being the Hollywood There we go. I feel like this color is just going to run out since it's light. It's a very nice gray, though. Hollywood subscription. Whoa. Should have brought that guy in. That will work. And then we're going to write June... I'm making this up. Like that, June 2023. Ta-da! That turned out okay. And other than my hands being all green and this being a very <clears throat> interpretive color selection, we've got like little splotches, we've got dots, we've got... <laughs> We got it all, folks. We got it all. All right, so here we go. Hollywood subscription box, June 2023. As I was saying, Hollywood subscription box, June 2023, from Atlas Stationers. I didn't put that on there. Ah, Ferris Will Press April Showers. Can you see the shimmer? How about the Urban Shimmer? They're lovely. Nice, fine particles of shimmer. Violet Imperials, the Jacques Lebon ink. Then we've got this lovely green called Ebony Green. Very nice foresty green. I like it a lot. And Monteverde's Zebra from the Jungle Ink Collection. It's tealining blue. Not too bright, not too dark. Not crazy sheening, just a standard teal. Blue leaning teal. Very, very nice. I think it's a good value. As I said, 45 including shipping with the discount code that they had over Memorial Day weekend. And I know this is a $25 ink. This is probably every bit of 25 as well. So there's the value. And then we also have 30 mils of Zebra. And ah, don't pick up Private Reserve. Private Reserve Green, 60 mils of the green. So great value. Hmm, should I get box two? I don't have a birthday next month. <laughs> I'll have to see if I do. You will see it as well. Very happy with these colors. Also really happy I didn't get red or orange. So, or black. I was really hoping there wouldn't be a black because not interested in black. So very happy with this garden of colors. Great job, Brendan and Brian and Reese and whoever put this together. Very happy. Can't wait to use these. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.